Why do orchids get set back? There are many factors that cause an orchid to experience setback, and one of the reasons is stress. There are many factors that are stressful to orchids. Not all orchids, because orchids respond differently to every challenge they are presented with. However, shipping is a major stress inducer for plants, not just orchids. So if your orchids arrive in great condition, that is awesome. However, be mindful that your orchid has undergone a tremendous amount of stress to get to you, and it is not always visible at first glance that there may already be a problem, unless there's evidence of cold or heat damage. Then those signs will already indicate to you that no matter what you do, your new orchid is going to be set back, is already set back, or it's imminent, it's going to get set back. While on the subject of new arrivals possibly being candidates for setback, the next point is the acclimating to your environment time frame. Some orchids just don't have any issues and settle right in and grow. That is something you will find with many hybrids because they are bred for vigor and strength. However, others may just experience shock. And until they get their bearings and truly settle in, they may experience setback. You won't know until the orchid that is not behaving as per what you expected does something or doesn't do anything according to your expectations after a considerable amount of time. Orchids that are set back in many cases are in fact doing the right thing in order for them to ensure their survival. Setback is a form of self-preservation. So if your new orchid comes with a new growth and then after six weeks that new growth has not moved one iota, or the new roots it came with have not grown at all or stopped growing. Those are clear signs of your orchid now being set back. In addition to the aforementioned, the following reasons can cause your orchid to get set back. So, if at all possible, avoid these things from happening. Pest infestations. Having a pest infestation get to the point that the treatment has to be a bit more radical than the preventative treatment would ever be. That orchid was already struggling with having the pest suck the life out of it. Now it has to deal with the treatment as well. Possible open wounds, etc. A heavy infestation will induce setback even after it has been cleaned and the infestation has not returned. Wrong repot timing. Repotting without any new growth visible can be a major trigger that will set an orchid back. Usually, we radically trim the dead roots and then proudly pot up our squeaky clean orchid, thinking that new roots will grow into squeaky clean media, but suddenly the orchid has been shocked by the premature repot and to conserve energy, stops any progress with the new growth and the stage of new root growth is delayed. Enter setback. Inadequate temperatures, may they be too hot or too cold, will set an orchid back. Usually because cold temperatures will take out the root system if allowed to stay wet and hot temperatures will dehydrate the orchid even if watered regularly due to possibly low humidity levels to balance out the heat. Transpiration through the stomata is a thing and a real threat to orchids that are grown in an environment with high temperatures but low humidity. Not to mention sunburn on leaves, but I'm gonna mention sunburn on leaves. If a leaf or several leaves get sunburned, then they are of no use to the orchid. They will not photosynthesize, and with that, eventually they will fall off, or we cut the sunburned parts out. Well, either way, the structures are lost, and with that, their ability to support the orchid with what they were meant to do, thus weakening the orchid. 